We start with a point. Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Rob Bryanton and this is the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. Today's entry is about pole 74 and we're calling it Twins, Photons and Mass. And I'm going to read from the poll question first of all. One twin stays here, the other travels by near speed of light rocket, returns to Earth in 60 years looking not much older. This thought experiment shows us that a photon traveling at the speed of light has no experience of time. It has zero duration. The poll ended November 14, 2010. 83.8% agreed while the remaining 16.2% did not. And uh, just before we start discussing this poll, I want to remind you, if you go to 10thdimension.com slash blog, there's almost always going to be poll questions there for you to answer. I try to keep uh, several running regularly, and there will also be some of the older ones that you'll be able to look and see what people have said to, to some of the uh, poll questions that have already finished. So let's talk about this poll question now. The twins paradox, as this is often called, comes from Einstein's special theory of relativity. I remember as a child watching a wonderful World of Disney episode, which included an animation about this concept and thinking it was impossible. How could it be that one twin gets in a rocket ship, the other stays home, and yet when the rocket twin returns, he still looks the same age, while the twin who stayed home now looks old? I really had a hard time with how strange the whole idea seemed to be. And yet, if you take the logic of this paradox even further, you arrive at the amazing conclusion we first looked at in Light Has No Speed. The faster you go, the larger the disparity between your experience of time and those who you leave behind. But the rocket ship twin will never be able to travel right at the speed of light because it would take an infinite amount of energy to move them. Even traveling at near the speed of light, as we describe in this poll question, would require unimaginably large amounts of energy to push the rocket ship twin along. So how does a photon travel at the speed of light if it takes an infinite amount of energy to reach that speed? It's because photons have no mass. Here's a quote from the NASA website about this. Photons do not have mass, but they do have momentum. And here's the proper general equation to use. On the other hand, for a particle with mass m at rest, you get back the famous E equals mc squared. Here's one more interesting idea about all this. Photons have no mass, but they do carry energy. E equals mc squared is often used to show that there's an equivalence between mass and energy. The exact number varies according to the assumptions used, but as you'll see at this U.S. Department of Energy webpage I'm providing you a link to, if you were to take the energy planet Earth is receiving from the Sun and convert it to mass, it works out to over 2 kilograms per second. That's a bit of scientific trivia I hadn't come across before. So to get back to the poll question, isn't it quite a leap to go from the twins paradox to the idea that light has zero duration? I'm thrilled that almost 84% of the visitors to this blog were willing to come along for the ride to make that leap with me. And I'm hoping it's because many of you saw and approved of the ideas presented in this video for my blog entry published around the same time as this poll question, light has no speed. That's all for this time around. Next time we'll look at poll 75 and we're calling that entry Waves, Curves and Frames. My name's Rob Bryanton. Enjoy the journey.